guys, it's Jennifer Jones bringing you some 411 of some of my favorite beauty products. Um, they're pretty much for any budget. Um, whether you have a lot to spend, I have um, ideas for both small budgets and large budgets. I also have um, some favorites that range from skincare all the way to hair care and also some uh, favorite uh, polishes that I like right now. So let's go over some of them right now. I'm going to start with my favorite hair products right now. Um, as far as a hairspray, my favorite hairspray has been and always has been Kenra Volume Spray 25. The strongest hold hairspray uh, in their line and I love it. It doesn't have a strong scent. It's great for holding an updo such as this for going out. It's also great for day-to-day -day styles whether you want your hair to stay uh, in one spot, you want to keep some bangs off of your face, it's a great, great hold hairspray. I love it. Kendra. Another product from their line that I love uh, is their silkening gloss. And uh, no matter what type of texture you have, whether your hair is fine, really, really coarse, or really, really curly, this is a really great product. Um, it really smooths down any type of frizziness, any extra hairs. As you see, I have little extra hairs everywhere that would just kind of smooth all of that out give it a little bit of a shine has a great scent smells a little bit like strawberries what's nice about this product is you can also use it as a little bit of a lotion you want to do a little extra shine on some of your um, your shoulders collarbone anything like that that's a great product for that it's not too greasy not too oily the only thing I would say is if you do have um, hair that's more on the finer side, I would not use the silkening gloss towards the roots of your hair as it might make your hair look a little bit on the greasy side. So if your hair is on the finer side, I would use it a little bit more uh, from here all the way down to the ends. Now as far as makeup, I use quite a range of makeup, but one of my favorite products of course is MAC. MAC has some of the greatest eyeshadows. It stays uh, throughout the day, whether or not you're working, playing with kids, uh, working out, whatever your career is, MAC is great. <clears throat> it's also great for the entertainment industry. Tons of makeup artists that I know, that's what they use on set. Um, it has some really bold, rich colors that are really great. One of my favorites is their paint, paint pot. Excuse me. Uh, I use the color in Groundwork. What's great about this is you can use it as a base. Uh, for your eyeshadow or if it's a Saturday and you don't want to put a ton of makeup on but you don't want to look totally crazy going out just take a little bit of that dab it on your eyes and it, it just kind of brings a little bit of color to your eyes and, and makes it look uh, like you're a little alive and not still sleeping so I really love the paint pot also um, I usually am not a person that likes to do uh, fake eyelashes so my favorite favorite in the whole world, like favorite, no matter what. Uh, mascara is the Maybelline Great Lash. You can find it at any drugstore. I think it's maybe five bucks, six bucks. Um, I like it with the curved brush. It's just easier for me to apply. It kind of does a little bit of curling application all in one. I love it. Um, I use it whenever I put it on. Makeup, I use it on days off just by itself. It's great. Doesn't clump, nothing. Another, um, it's not really makeup, but <clears throat> you can't leave home without it, Burt's Bees. I love their chapstick, and what's great about it is it has does have a little vitamin E, but I love the pepperminty, like the minty uh, feeling to it. it. It feels like it's actually doing something to you. A lot of people don't like that minty taste, so if you're not a mint person, you probably won't like the chapstick. I love it though. And another fabulous product, if you've watched any of my other, any of my other videos on YouTube, uh, you saw my vlog on Tammy Roman's TR Love Cosmetics. I love the gloss, I'm not really a lipstick person ever, so I really love this gloss. It's nice, uh, rich, you only need one coat. And the packaging is genius with the mirror, the light. The application is very simple, just and you're done. So wherever you are, 
outside at night in a club in a car you can see and there's a mirror and you can put it on without looking totally crazy so I don't know what your regimen is for your skincare but no matter what it is you should always cleanse tone and moisturize at least do that that's a, a healthy system three steps very simple you don't have to buy the most expensive wash for your face um, basically what I use is uh, what is it clear clean and clear that's what I use for face wash and toner um, I didn't pick it as my top favorites but I'm just letting you know that you don't have to do that I also of course love the Aveda um, cleansing gel that's actually one of my favorite products and I prefer that but when you're on a budget or if you have other expenses or other things that you'd like to put your money into you can save and, and you can use products like that and they work just the same but I do splurge a little bit more um, on moisturization working on the wrinkles as you see I've got a few I've never had any Botox or any treatments or anything like that I did have terrible acne in my uh, teenage years and I don't know if you can tell yeah you can tell I have some big pores so what I do is I cleanse I tone and before I moisturize my skincare is I use Estee Lauder I use the idealist first this is after after uh, cleansing and toning this is a pore minimizer it works really great just really makes your skin nice and smooth then I also use the perfectionist as well I put that on I put that on my fine lines right here in the creases and then just a little bit under the eyes right here works great right underneath your moisturizer um, underneath your makeup the moisturizer that I'm using right now is the resilient lift by Estee Lauder it also has an SPF 15 which is great I live in Los Angeles it's always sunny it never rains in Southern California so I always need a little bit of an SPF as you see I have fair skin I get freckles and you know we're getting close to 40 so you want to take care of your skin and not get too old now at night I do switch it up and I do put this underneath uh, my moisturizer um, it's the advanced night repair it's really smoothed out. I really had some deep lines right here, and believe it or not, as bad as these look right here, it's really diminished this line quite a bit, and it's actually kind of gotten rid of that a little bit. So, um, great products. You don't always have to go that route. There's great products at, the, you know, CVS, Walgreens, Target. All Oil of Olay has lots of great products. If you're into, um, you know, marinating yourself like a pickle to death like I do at night, but you know as you get to my age you think about those things but I also have another tip for you um, for moisturizing that's great for um, sensitive skin for wrinkles um, instead of using the expensive Estee Lauder you can go and get some Cetaphil now it's not the cheapest but it's a lot cheaper than just a little tiny bottle of something that you get at the department store but it's great for babies it's great for any um, psoriasis uh, what is it eczema yes eczema all of those things is really great for and it's not as hard on the skin as a lot of those steroid creams and the hydrocortisone all of that it's much better for the skin and like I said if you don't want to spend money on any of those creams if you have sensitive skin like a lot of these creams from Estee Lauder and all the department stores a lot of them have a little scent so if you have problems with scents might want to go the Cetaphil route um, I also um, really enjoy coconut oil and I use it for various uses other than just cooking um, when I have really dry skin um, or a sensitive skin patch or even a cut or something that needs to heal I will use some coconut oil and it's great for that a lot of people have some things to say about coconut oil I haven't had any bad experiences and I like it and it smells kind of good and finally for some of my tips that are my favorites um, it's kind of pedicure season everywhere now right now um, some of my favorite polishes are of course from the OPI collection OPI is my obsession I love it they have like a new color every single day I don't know how they come up with the, the names and all these colors all the time but hey 
I mean, more power to them. They have about 10 billion colors. So, but before anything, before starting any type of manicure, pedicure, you need a really good base coat and a really good top coat. My favorites, and what I would definitely recommend, even if you go get something done, I always bring my own polish because I always think, you just don't know what's been in that polish and you don't know if it's clumpy, you don't know if they've had it for like six years sitting on the shelf. It could be like a totally discontinued color. Do you really want to wear a discontinued color on your nails? No. So anyway, um, I always bring my own, but most of the time I do my own because actually I'm a professional cosmetologist as well as all my other fabulous talents. But anyway, Sesh Base is a great base coat. As you see, it's got a little bit of um, kind of a neutral color to it. It's also a, a ridge filler. As you know, a lot of us, we get little tiny ridges in our nails. It makes it uneven. So instead of having to file away the ridges, which isn't healthy for your nails or your nail beds, go ahead and fill it in with one coat of your Sesh Base. Boom, then you have a perfect, nice, clean slate for your polish. And my favorite colors are, I love these little minis that OPI does because it kind of gives you an opportunity to try out the colors. If they're totally crazy colors like this, like this yellow, like who would wear that on an everyday basis? I mean, I definitely wouldn't, some people would, but I know I'm not gonna use this yellow like I would use a larger color. These colors are from their Brazilian collection that was released in the spring. Just some fun colors, I wanted to try them and um, I can use those in the summertime. Now you know the Muppets came out with a movie in March and uh, this is one of my favorite colors from the collection and it's Miss Piggy's big number. Now you never think the blue, I always thought it was going to be like Grover's color or something, but no. Anyway, that's a really pretty color, it's got a little tiny bit of shimmer to it, not too much, nice color. <clears throat> if you're a music fan and you like Gwen Stefani, this is her Hey Baby pink color. Kind of matches my outfit. Hey baby, hey baby, hey. Anyway, um, that's a really pretty pink. Um, you can kind of, it's kind of an all season color, really, if you ask me. I like it. Um, then we also have, I love uh, OPI. They have this liquid sand. This is really great. It lo actually looks like sand is your nail polish. This is from Mariah Carey's uh, collection. It was a holiday collection, actually, so it's a little old. Uh, this is called The Impossible, but these are great if you're going to go um, and do some some hard wear and tear on your feet and um, they're not going to be covered in socks or anything. The Liquid Sand is a great polish choice because it's not chipping, it's not going to look dinged up, it's sand. It looks like it's sand on your nails, so it's already looking with a little bit more of a rough appearance on the nail, so it's perfect if you're going to be rough on your feet. Now this color, it looks like kind of a pinkish, but it's like a pink red. Not a classic red, but just a, a tinge of pink with the red. In this color, I actually got um, complimentary from InStyle Magazine. It's called InStyle Red and I received it for subscribing to their magazine. I don't know if that's any longer a promotion. Give it a try, take a peek, see how that goes. But um, that was last year when I, I got the magazine because I love the magazine and um, that's actually their color. Now OPI also has these colors that are called shatters. As you see the shatter here, you paint it over um, kind of like a top coat but you would also apply a top coat over it. But you would put it over, so you put a white color <clears throat> as your base, then you would paint this over, and it would dry with like a crackling look like that. It's awesome. And this one is actually Nicki Minaj's color, and that's Super Base Shatter. It's kind of like a hot pink purple shatter. Really cool, really, really cool. And then um, from their, one of their newer collections is the Coca-Cola collection. And this is like a black with like a glittery. I think this is my next uh, my next pedicure here. But this one is called Today I Accomplished Zero. So I would assume this would be for Coke Zero. So those are some of my favorites right now. I know I talked for about 30 hours, but those are some of my favorites. 
OPI isn't too expensive. It usually retails from about eight to ten dollars per bottle, and it lasts forever. And with OPI, you don't have to store it in the refrigerator. Just my suggestion is keep it in a cool, dark place. If your vanity or your medicine cabinet is anywhere near where your shower is or your bathroom is, if it's not in a separate room, um, don't keep it there. Perhaps keep it in a linen closet where there's no humidity in it. And that's going to keep your polish nice. You don't need to free up a whole shelf and kick all the kids out of the refrigerator for your nail polish. So, And what I do is I have a separate vanity area. See, my shower is in that room. So I just keep it out here so there's no humidity, no heat and it's in a cool dark place. So those are some of my favorite things right now. I'll update you as I get more things. I'm always either sent some product or um, I get new things to try as of course a cosmetologist there's always samples and things to try so um, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more fun videos on Jennifer Jones 411.